Welcome to the demo version of Marketplace based on Open Procurement. Today, as a part of this demonstration, we will introduce you to how Open Procurement demo works and show you step by step how the contracting authorities, CAs, and economic operators, POs, interact with the e procurement system. CAs are the state, regional, or local authorities and bodies governed by public law that procure goods, services, or works. CAs issue tenders, evaluate bids, and award contracts. EOs are supplier entities, which offer the execution of works, the supply of products, or the provision of services as required by the CAs. EOs submit bids to the CA standards and are awarded contracts. So, let's start our introduction to the Open Procurement demo. Let's imagine that you are a government agency and you need to purchase printing paper. You want to choose a supplier which will provide you with high-quality products and, most importantly, for the most favorable price. The first step to meet this need is to register you as a contracting authority user on the Open Procurement Marketplace. The e-registration model provides the necessary system functionality for user registration, authentication, and authorization. The vast majority of actions performed within the e-procurement system must be performed by authenticated users, i.e. users whose identity has been verified by the system. To register, choose the form Register New User and fill in all the necessary information, namely surname, name, country, ID of the organization you belong to, organization type, email. We will also select a password and confirm it in the next column. Enter your phone number below and select Submit. The next step after user registration is to register the organization to which you belong i.e. the government body that aims to buy goods, works, and services. This way, we fill in the necessary fields, namely name of the organization, ID of the organization, type of the organization, contact phone numbers, country where the organization is registered, region, city, postal code, and address. Subsequently, we need to be verified in the system. To do this, we check the mailbox and specify the received code. After successful authentication of a user in the system, he or she has access to all system services according to his or her role in the system. Then, using our login and password, we authenticate in the system. After successful authentication, we can proceed to our profile menu. Here users can view their profile details and modify them if necessary, view their organization's data and modify it if necessary, as well as add new users to their organization by specifying such data as name, surname, email, and the role that this user will perform whether he or she is the member of the organization authorized to publish tenders or administrator. If necessary, you can easily delete users, edit their data, and sort the number of users per page. View previously published tenders in My Tenders section. View and edit tenders in Draft section if necessary. Let's move on to the ability to create tenders. So, we are a government customer who wants to buy white paper for printing. In order to announce a tender, we need Go to My Tenders and select Add a Tender. After that, it is necessary to fill in the information related to this procurement in detail. Namely, specify the name of the procurement. We will put Specify the budget of the procurement, currency, category. By CPV classifier, here we have a hint and we use it. Provide a description of our procurement and specify a contact person. 
At this stage, the customer can also attach the necessary documents if necessary, such as bidding documents, which will contain the terms of reference, qualification requirements for participants, the text of the future contract, etc. After providing the necessary information, our tender is moved to the category draft, where we can review the information, check it, add new information, as well as indicate the deadline for the purchase, the number of items, etc. Beforehand, the system automatically sets the deadline. This is seven days after the publication of the tender announcement. You can leave it, or you can change it by setting the necessary date and even time parameters. So, we changed the deadline. And we also added the items field by setting the necessary parameters of the purchase, namely description quantity, unit of measurement, classification, start and end time of delivery, as well as the address where the goods will be delivered. We publish a tender and we go to My Tenders and we can see it in the list. The deadline for submission of tender proposals has passed, all interested participants have submitted their proposals, and now we can conduct the procedure of opening tender proposals and select the most advantageous supplier. Depending on the procurement legislation and the procedure and type of procurement applied, the opening process is different. We will now show you the approach when priority is given to the economic profitability of the proposal. A certain list of suppliers is formed. The one who offered the lowest price goes first in the list, the one who offered the highest price accordingly the last. Thus, the system automatically selects the participant who offered the lowest price. At this stage, the customer can reconsider his offer and the documents included in it and, having studied this information, accept or reject the offer of the participant. In case of rejection, the system automatically offers to consider an offer of the next participant in the list. Now, let's see how demo works for the economic operator users. The economic operator is a legal entity, business, company that intends to sell goods, works and services to the contracting authority. The first step to become a supplier to a government contracting authority is to register you as a supplier to the open procurement marketplace. The e-registration model provides the necessary system functionality for user registration, authentication and authorization. The vast majority of actions performed within an e-procurement system must be performed by authenticated users, i.e. users whose identity has been verified by the system. To register, choose the form Register New User and fill in all the necessary information, namely surname, name, country, ID of the organization you belong to, organization type, email. We will also select a password and confirm it in the next column. Enter your phone number below and select Submit. The next step after user registration is to register the organization to which you belong. This way we fill in the necessary fields, namely name of the organization, ID of the organization, type of organization, contact phone numbers, country where the organization is registered, region, city, postal code, and address. Subsequently, we need to be verified in the system. To do this, we check the mailbox and specify the received code. After successful authentication of a user in a system, he or she has access to all system services according to his or her role in the system. Then, using our login and password, we authenticate in the system. After successful authentication, we can proceed to our profile menu. Here users can view their profile details and modify them if necessary. 
view their organization's data and modify it if necessary, as well as add new users to their organization by specifying such data as name, surname, email, and the role that this user will perform, whether he or she is the member of the organization authorized to publish tenders or administrator. If necessary, you can easily delete users, edit their data, or sort the number of users per page. View the tenders that triggered interest and were saved in the Start section. View all current tenders announced by customers in the section Open for participation. Bidding offers submitted by the supplier in My Bid section. View and, if necessary, edit drafts of tender proposals in Draft Bid section. In order to submit a tender proposal, the supplier must use the Open for Participation section and choose the opportunity that interests him between a list of all current tenders. You can also use the search model. The search model provides functional support for the search of data stored in the system's data storages. The user can search by such parameters as bed submission deadline, tender ID, classification CPV, and status. After the selection of the tender that has interested the supplier, he has the opportunity to submit his bid. To do this, go to the Tender Purchase page and select Submit a bid. Here the user can specify the amount of his tender offer. Also, if it is required by the procedure and the contracting authority, at this stage the supplier can attach the necessary documentation – technical envelopes, qualification documents, etc. Supplier has an opportunity to view submitted tender bids in My Bid section. Upon completion of the tender disclosure procedure, the supplier receives certification of the results – contract or rejected.